Hello darlings, I am back with a roofing tutorial. I can't say roofing, I don't know why. Essentially, I'm just gonna show you some roof styles. <laughs> so the first one is a usable loft space with a balcony built into the roof. Uh, it's really effective, it looks great on uh, cabins, beach places, any place you can do it. You can do it in the eaves of um, a house that you're building, but just for tutorial purposes, I built it on this size. Okay, a couple of things you want to know. If you hold down shift and then pull on the eaves of a roof, you can alter one side at a time. And if you hold down the option or alt key, whilst pulling up on the roof height, it doesn't go up in the dedicated increments it goes up in uh smaller increments so you can really control the height okay so with this one uh i put two of the gabled roofs either side and you pull them up you can see where i was measuring it to essentially you want on the side you can't really see it um on the bare plaster walls you see the dots you can see the dots on the bare plaster walls you want to have two of those lined up at the top and that should be the perfect height and it works every time sometimes i overshoot and i have to mess around with it but it works so what i'm doing here is just filling out the balcony area of what this will be so you can get an overall idea of how it can look and you can pull this out and use this on a diff on a higher floor level so it doesn't have to just be on a, you know, one story, two story building. It can be on four stories. And this could be the fourth floor. And then you would use the um, pillars to go down to the third floor. I hope this is making sense. I'm try I tried, I had to speed it up because it was over an hour and I had to do a bit of editing to cut it down. But I'm trying to show how this looks and how you can see. What I've done is I used two roof sections because I wanted to show how to, on the ends, how you can texture the exterior different to the interior. Because you're using roofs as the outer walls, it, you have to have two sections, like you can see at the beginning of this one. And um, here I'm just showing you how the loft works perfectly. You can make it as long as you want, but you always want to have two tiles at the end and on the sides so you can finish it off. If that makes sense. I hope it does. I hope that does what I just said. Because <laughs> you want that outer tile to match the upper roof section and two tiles allows you to do that. But it's a really effective little look. So here you can, I can, I'm trying to show you how it looks when you texture it differently inside and outside. And by adding that extra section of roofing on the inside there, you can do that. It's a really effective little look. And there it is. There's that style. Moving swiftly on to the next style, this is open skylights. Uh, same principle, but what you're doing is you just need one section on the end, but you need the two tiles either side. So I'm bringing in the roof section, you pull it up, you get it to the right size. And then you can freely adjust by holding down the option or alt and you can freely adjust that's too high so i will alter it back down in a moment there we go i think this one i had to mess around with a bit because i'm i'm silly no nope, there we go we got it pretty much straight away and then we are coming in with the half gable to do the bottom area so i push the eaves in hold down shift pull down push up and i've made a hole for where the open skylight will be copying over the end gable and pulling it to the center and then just copying over the bits that i've been using and 
and then I make it shorter because it was going to be too too long I didn't need it for my purposes I didn't need it so long but again it's holding down the uh, shift key and pulling on the eaves so that only one side of the eaves goes in and it works really well then using the half gable you copy it over the one on the bottom you take a copy and you place it on the top but place it on the inside pull down the eave all the way down and then push down on the arrow and it opens it up like a window copy it over to the next one and you can change the height so you have varying heights on each window and then you use the glass texture and then you use a trim and you trim it up and yeah and so that you can make them functional uh, so you can knock out the floor so it casts the light down into the building without having exterior lighting in the house you pop that glass in where I just did the window knock out the floor and then you'll get lighting on the inside which I just show you there from you can just see it slightly it was the position of the sun I should have changed the position but I didn't and then to fill in the back you can do it on both sides I think it looks a bit silly on both sides so I never do but I just pull it across and yeah fill it in very simple right so now we're moving on to multi-level roofing with a mansard roof on this top floor what I did was I added a floor and then removed all the walls and left the ceiling in place you'll see why soon there you go so the ceiling on the third floor is being left in place again with a half gable getting it into place pulling it up pulling it in and then, you know, throwing in the eaves, getting it just right. Copying it over. Now here, I pull in a roof section, pull it across, match the height and use the clear glass texture on it. So it's sitting above the panel I put in. Then I put in the half gable, Make sure it fits just outside the glass. Pull it across. There you go. Then I copy up. Position it down. Get it just right. It takes a little finagling because I'm not that clever sometimes. <laughs> and then pull it up. Get it to the top. Get it just right. And pull it down to that section there right there copy it across keep going re rinse repeat get it over then you go get a gabled roof the full gable roof oh I'm just pulling that into position sorry and just getting it just right get a full gable pop that on the top and that hides the completely glass clear glass roof that is underneath it may take a couple of tries to get it just right but it works perfectly so now you can put a loft into the attic space and have these gorgeous skylights with below in the room below what I'm doing now is showing you how to do open patio doors so I just use an arch, you can pick the arch of your choice. And then you draw, draw a wall, place it, pick the window that you're going to use and drop it into place. Then if you use Twisted Mexi's Tool Mod tool, I will drop a link in the description below. You can size the window down just a touch, which I did. I took it to 0.9, repeated all the way across. Then I deleted the wall, used the tool mod again and rotated, I believe it was on one side. This one is, <coughs> sorry, I'm moving them into position with tool mod. And then here I just, yeah, 
turned 8% on the left and on the right was minus eight. Just to get them to just slightly open and it looks like we've got patio doors that open out onto a small veranda. And it's a really effective little look. It looks really good. Then you go in to, uh, I think it is a vampire stuff, debug. Go to the vampire pack. And then it is in debug. It is a little black fence, you'll see. And you can place that, free place it. And it looks really good. Normally I would, under there, I put flooring in so I can put a trim in, but I was just trying to show you what it looks like rather quickly. <laughs> but it's a great little trick to get this really nice Parisian look. Now here, I'm going to show you how to do multi-level roofing. So you can do uh, seams. So you can have a real like a Parisian rooftop look to it. I'm popping a floor on top so that I can use the trim on there which gives it a really nice finish on the top and then I'm going to do here is the mantled roof so we go for the half gable get it into place pull it up and then if you hold down I'm trying to get the light on it sorry I was wondering what I was doing there I was like what am I doing what am I doing so if you hold down on the shift C you'll get more more balls to manipulate with and I just slightly pushed it in here I'm using the um, half hipped roof and pull it into place I think I need to use the fully hipped roof which I realize in a second yep so I need to use the full hipped roof pull it up into position do the same thing, hit the hold down C, shift C, gives you more balls to manipulate, which makes me chuckle like a child when I say that. And then you just pull it into position, get it just right, and pull the half hipped to meet it. No, that, sorry, the half um, gable, not half hipped, the half gable. And there you go, you got a perfect join. Then you just copy it over, using the black as well and you copy it over place it then you um, will add the trim on the top and the bottom and I show how to get it just looking really nice by adding the trim see on the top it hides just the edge of that roof there right so and then we're using the black roof trim <laughs> I tend to not go too uh, heavy on the roof trims. I go lighter, but it's up to you. The heavy one doesn't look good, but you can go medium. So I'm using that trim on it because it just gives it a nice finish on the top. Then I come in with, uh, I think the vampire fence, but there's two ways. So I showed you two ways to do it. The vampire fence is the, the fast and dirty way to do it. It's really quick. You go like that. Or you can go to uh, get together and use this one and you just pop it into place and you can do it all the way around which is the method that I use when I do it because it looks better I think it does but it's up to you totally up to you how you do it <laughs> and then I just place it around and place it around but you can see how the roof is starting now to take a nice it, it looks better over here we're doing the same thing but we're going to roof on the top as well just to we're trying to give that different dimensions that roofs have they're never all one height across they always have a slight variation a slight height so here we're doing the built-in dormer in the roof and it's and I'm trying to show that you can have different styles so you can have like a modernized attic up there and things like that and all these rooms are usable the top spaces are usable I don't really show the inside I did I shot all this in a day and I essentially I think in like four hours built four homes so I was like oh and then I streamed <laughs> I was like oh my god so yes it's the same thing it's a half gabled but I'm keeping it this one quite straight without using the um, 
the bend because I didn't want to put the dip in. So no manipulating the balls. There I said it. And using the full hip, in you go. And bam. I have to just slightly adjust it a little bit, but it works really well. And it's a great way to do the uh, diagonal walls on the ends. It gives it a really nice finish. Then we come in here and we, um, oh, sorry, I'm stretching. I do apologize. <laughs> I'm leaving all my fluffs in because it's kind of funny when I mess up and I hope it makes it more personable because I feel like I'm just streaming and chatting to my chat and it's nicer. I like it more like this. Okay, so here I'm using the half hip on the top, pull it down, but it's too low. I don't like that. So I'm bringing it up to get some more height in there. And I think that's way too high. I do think I changed my mind on that, but we'll see. I can't remember now. So it's been like two days since I actually filmed it or three days, two days, two days. Yeah, I decided it was too, <laughs> I did decide it was too high, I think. So then I come in with the gabled, with the, sorry, the half gabled here and um, do it backwards. So it's facing, the front would be at the back. And um, then just pop in a nice window and it just shows you how the difference, how you can make one building have like this multi look. Okay, now we are into, I'm gonna show just gable roofs, but how to roof a half wall, which you're not meant to be able to do, but you can actually do. But disclaimer, do not attempt to add your roof until you have completely finished your build. That's all your interiors, all your wall textures, everything. If you think that you're going to do anything to change your build, do not put the half walls on yet because they will just go on vacation without you and you'll have to do it again. And believe me, it gets, it gets really tedious because I forget all the time, do them, and yeah, find that my, my roof has gone on vacation without me. So I'm just, that's a disclaimer, I'm warning you. <laughs> it's a, I'm just trying to warn you not to do it, to wait. So we just have a basic shape and um, I demonstrate a half wall here. Just give a little height. So we've got the bottom floor, but we want something a bit taller up here. So pop in a half wall. <clears throat> what you do is you match the height. So that's the second floor. You build two pillars. You pull the pillars down so the height matches exactly. Get your roof section, float it on top of the pillar you have to size them right down because it's so close to the building. If they touch, it's game over. So pop it up on the top and then you get rid of the pillars and then you pull your roof section into place. Like thus, thusly. But I can demonstrate it better here. I'm building a dormer into the roof that doesn't, that fits perfectly. There you go. So you can see exactly how you do the half walls here. You pull this in because I don't want the roof section going through where I am having the window. So that's why I have two sections. And then what I do is I come across exactly the way that I did on the other roof. I bring in a wall section here. See, so I add the floor bring it over, stretch it over, so I have a floating floor across here, see? And then I can put the roof section there, which leaves behind the dormer, the half wall, empty. So, oh, there's my disclaimer popped up, telling you do not put your, wall, your roofs up until you're completely done. Just wait until you're completely done. There we go, so we have our roof in place. And you can see there's no roof section in the center. So you come through, I'm building my little columns. There we go. Matching the height of the half wall. 
which sometimes I get first time, other times I can do it like three or four times. It's so annoying and then suddenly it will get into place and I'm like, oh, excellent. And get your roof, pop it up, take away the columns, pull your roof into place. So it's a really, really neat little trick. It's a really neat little trick and it gives a lovely multi, um, multi-level multi roofing on one level. So you can do different heights of half walls and you just get this really nice overall look. As you can see, the window goes all the way through. Here I'm going to show you how to make cross beams using roof sections. So I just pulled the eaves out so you get this nice overhang with the eaves. Popping these place just for effect so you can get the overall effect. And here I'm going to show you how to do the little tiny trellis on the top, which is uh, the low fence. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat and it won't go away. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So we are ready to do the fencing. So all you do on the top is you go in, you get a low fence. I use pretty much the same fence all the time. I think I changed it out for the one from Strangerville afterwards, but it works really well. This one works well if you're doing outdoor verandas. I thought it was too chunky for here, but it works. And then you knock out the uh, flooring in between. Then you get the half gabled roof. Oh, I'm going to just fence out because I'm I'm a perfectionist and I wanted to show the fit for purpose. Half gabled roof. Push it in, get it down, pull out one side of the eaves and make sure that it's one tile. And there it is. So I am placing it inside, pulling it out, I think think there it is so the eaves are there so I'm pushing it down to get the um, the exact beam look I'm after and I have to pull up the there doing it again you hold down shift and pull on one side of the eaves and only one side will raise and that's it really that's us right pretty much at the end I hope that you found it helpful. If you've got any questions, you can just ask in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And uh, subscribe. You can find me over at Twitch. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Yo.